Well, new numbers show fewer manatees are dying compared to the same time last year. Yeah, but those numbers are still very high. Wildlife officials say 515 manatees died from January 1st through April 15th. That's fewer than the same time last year, which was a record year for manatee deaths, but still much higher than the same time frame in 2020 when 224 manatees died. On Earth Day, scientists are working to help improve Brevard County's home for manatees. New Six's James Barvero is in Merritt Island, where a weekend of clean water event kicks off with planting 100,000 clams in the Banana River. With the drop of every clam, we're doing some ecosystem restoration. Dr. Todd Osborne says the water quality of the Indian River Lagoon could be improving. 100,000 farm-raised clams, adding to the 13 million the University of Florida says were released in the lagoon over the last three years. How do you think the lagoon's doing right now? I think the lagoon's in big trouble. That's no secret. This is a health and safety issue as much as it is an environmental issue. Brevard County Commission candidate Sandra Sullivan argues testing and monitoring of chemicals like pesticides and herbicides would help get to the root of the problem. It's very concerning that the lagoon plan does not include pollution. Dr. Osborne says the 10-year tax plan includes fertilizer control and septic to sewer conversion to help limit nutrients. Pollution is blamed on the lagoon's loss of seagrass. Of Florida's 500 manatee deaths so far this year, the FWC says 300 were in Brevard. For the naysayers, it took a long time to bend this system or push it beyond its natural threshold. Using good modern science, I don't see why we can't pull this off. The group says it will continue planting clams on Saturday, and then on Sunday, they'll be picking up trash along the river. On the Indian River Lagoon, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.